Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and uh, I am really happy with the amount of views that I've gotten on my previous video and I'm hoping that you guys loved it. So due to that, I am going to make another video which on today's video I will be uh, demonstrating how to make a dashboard for Amazon Prime Video. So what we're going to do here basically is uh, sort the data and show which country follows which type of shows or TV shows, or basically movies, and the total number of viewership or uh, ratings, number of titles for each country or in total. And likewise, a lot of other statistics. So without any further ado, let's begin. Um, first things first, let us go ahead and uh, import our data set for that. And here you go. I will put this also in the description. You guys can uh, go through it. And since I've already uh, played around with this data set before, I am sure, or at least 100% sure, that uh, there are no missing values. But just in case there are any missing values, you do not need to worry about it for now. We will deal with it later. Ah, there you go. You can see a lot of null values here. Don't worry about it. Let's go ahead. Press load. And you will see that your um, data has been imported here along with all the columns here. To verify, go to the model view and you can see everything here. Now, let's um, first create um, a file that talks about which country shows what kind of uh, shows and etc. So for that, let us first take in field map. Now the difference between this map and field map is uh, whenever you want to um, uh, put or depict a particular item, you get dots only in this map. Whereas in this map, you get an entire area. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to take location. Where is location? Uh, where's location here? Uh, oh yeah, for first location, we're going to take country. My bad, country, and drag it onto the location. And for your uh, tool tip, we're going to take show ID and store it here. As you can see, this it has already been highlighted here. So what we're going to do here is let us look into the title for this first and let us rename it into total shows. Let's rename it into uh, total shows by country. Okay, total shows by country, that is one. And after that, let us look into the headers, not headers, background, uh, which is under effects. Let's keep it uh, black. Mm, no, it looks no, never, not black. Um, let's keep it this. OK, it looks pretty decent. And for the title, we're going to change the color into white. Perfect. And let us add some background. Let's change this into dark. Perfect. Now it looks a lot more, uh, I don't know, um, good looking. Um, OK, let us modify this a bit more. Let us go to no, general. Let us go to effects. Let's go to visual border. And on tool tips, anything else? Nope. Facial border, let's keep it about 50. Let's see if it's too much. Uh, 30. Oh, 30 is way too much. Uh, let's change it to, let's bring it down to 20. Um, 20, that's perfect. And after that, your title, let's keep a divider. And divider, let's keep it white. So yeah, this is how our uh, one one tile this this tile is going to look like. Uh, let's drag it and keep it here. Now, 
before that, let's try to create, add a background for your canvas. And I think we've used this color. Wait, oh, wallpaper, sorry. Uh, it looks terrible. Uh, wait. Now let's change the color into something better. Uh, let's see, uh, is there any color that looks mildish? Okay. Let's go ahead with this. Uh, please don't mind me for the color grading, but uh, we'll just work with what we have. Now let's create uh, another pie donut chart, which is right here. And under the donut chart, we are going to have legend. Under legend, we're going to have type. And now we have so many things on the type. Let's filter it out to only movie and TV shows alone. Perfect. And after that, uh, for the values, for, for the value here, we're going to add show ID. And under that, count to show ID, but we're going to keep count distinct of show ID. Now, count distinct, you could keep it or else let's just keep it count. Yeah, let's just keep it count for now. And um, yeah, let's change the title for this we are going to rename it as uh, movies and tv shows perfect now as i've taught you on the previous video select one formatted tile go to format painter and paste it perfect now all we have to do here is change the color of the text you go to the format visual you under legend you go to this and change it to white and for your data labels you change the value color to white beautiful now if you want to remove the legend you could also uh, do this um, do this and remove the legend so there you go but you can also keep legend or not up to you but i like to see something right here so I'll keep it however it looks like previously. All right, now let's just uh, resize it a bit. We'll do the resizing part later, no problem. Now let's have a stack area chart. Now in this, what we're gonna do is, we're going to see the number of shows or movies released based on uh, years, a particular year. So first things first, on your x-axis, we're going to have release year. There you go. And on your release year, you keep that as it is. And y-axis, we'll have show ID. And under show ID, we're going to select this thing. Now, this is because you do not want any repetition. So you select show ID. And after that, on your legend, you will have type. Where there you go. As we've selected previously, right? So we're going to have type. And now that this is done, we're going to remove the labels for your x and y axis. So we go to x axis uh, value. Okay, we keep the value title is removed. And for your y axis, the title is removed. And mm, that's it. Now you select this, comment painter, and select. There you go. Now we have to change uh, the data labels. We're going to remove, we're going to disable the data labels here. Perfect. There you go. And let's rename this to uh, total shows uh, by year. Let's do that. Total shows by year. Total shows by release here. Now that is also done, let's keep that aside here. Resize this, keep this here, bring this here. All right, now let's have um, the number of ratings for a particular show uh, based on, um, uh, based on the, uh, what do you say? A board, a sensor board for that particular show. So let's go ahead and create a cluster stack bar, bar chart. And under this, we have your 
rating as your y axis and for your x axis we will have show id and for show uh, show id again like last time we're going to have a distinct and yeah that's it it looks like we have all the shows along with the ratings given uh let's format it into this perfect now let's change the value to white let's change the color to white so we're going to okay now there's a problem here the background colors don't look good so let's change all that after everything we'll select this uh go to your y axis change the color to white and go to your x axis change the color to white and let's uh remove the title and the title here perfect now all we gotta do is change the uh the charts title and how we do that is just rename it here which is ratings by ratings by total shows perfect now that we have that done let us go ahead and create similar thing except for genres so all the radius control c and control v we call the exact same thing but in this we're going to change one single thing we're going to remove ratings and replace it with listed in that's all we did now we have everything here now just for your uh, knowledge uh, purpose i'll teach you something in case you want to have only the top t or top five or top n uh, values you select this and you go to show id not not show id listed in and you select basic filtering replace it with top n and replace three here and take listed in keep it here apply filter and you get the top three so you guys can do that or not it's up to you but let's just keep it here since i've done it we'll just keep it here for now and now let's create something called cards i think i've done it previously but i'll show it to you once more not a problem uh yeah you take cards here and for cards what you're going to do here is you take your title put it here and we're going to have count of titles so basically these are the total number of uh, titles that we have. So, a format painter. Boom. Now we take this, change the color to white, and we change the title of the card, which is that, into black. Okay, looks decent. Okay. All right. Now that we have one card, let's have one, two, three, four. Uh, uh, let's keep that there. Keep this here. Okay. Okay, the first one's done. Now, second one will talk about the total number of ratings. So we remove that and replace it with ratings here. And count distinct if you wish but uh, it doesn't really yeah let's keep it count distinct because we need specific values or uh, replace it and no not that we have to change the title oh wait category label total ratings if you wish but if you want to add a title you can go ahead and add a title count of ratings uh where did that go uh, rename it here. Oh, wait. Uh, my bad. Um, count of thing. Re uh, where is rename? Rename here. And we can name it as dot rating. Ratings. Okay. Now that that's done. Uh, now this third one is directors if we wish because we have a director here um, replace it here 
and counter distinct of directors. There you go, counter directors and or we should rename it to total directors, right? So total directors. Directors, yeah, perfect. And for this, let's have um, start date and end date. So yeah, start date and end date. So let's go ahead and uh, listed, no, not listed. For start date, we have release year. So release year and start date is usually the last so which is the minimum so minimum and for this we have your uh, um release here and this is going to be your maximum no, not minimum maximum uh it's maximum so rename this to uh start date and rename this to uh and okay. all right so let's reduce the size okay so that we can fit everything in one place that's the only intention okay perfect now that we have fit all these here let us extend this here extend this to okay let's just make it symmetrical so people have OCD don't really have a problem with this all right now uh, set this here set this here perfect so all right so yeah, this is basically going to be your dashboard for your Amazon uh, ser uh, streaming services. So let's just test it around. So let's say uh, I want to know about only 13 plus. Okay, you have it, your dashboard changed. You have only one rating, which is pretty bad, but it's okay. And number of titles for that is 2,117. Let's go ahead and select a particular country for North America. You have 16 titles, five ratings, 16 directors, and so on. So, yeah, you guys can uh, pick in whatever insights you want from this data. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, session. And in case you have any doubts regarding this, please let me know in the comments below. And I will definitely get back to you guys. Uh, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.